Hello guys, in this video we'll see basic concepts of translating axis system or relative motion analysis by using one example which is stated here. It's about how we could evaluate the relative velocity, position, and then also accelerations of one particle with the other one. And the question stated that the aircraft A with radar detection equipment is flying horizontally at an altitude of 12 km and then is increasing its speed at the rate of 1.2 m per second each second. Its radar looks on to an aircraft B flying in the same direction and then in the same vertical plane at an altitude of 18 km. If it has a speed of 1000 km per hour at the instant when theta is 30 degree, determine the values of r double dot and theta double dot at this same instant if P has a constant speed of 1500 km per hour. If you look over here, aircraft B is just flying with the same or constant velocity, whereas aircraft A is flying with some acceleration that means it increases its speed through 1.2 meter per second in each second the question is just how we can relate the velocity the acceleration and the position between aircraft a and aircraft b and then how we evaluate our double dot and then theta double dot to clarify the question just we trace some positions of the two aircraft tests. that means when aircraft A reach this position that means aircraft B reached over this one and then when it reached over this point then aircraft B reached over this one so the relative position the relative velocity and the relative accelerations of both aircraft can be shown here now let's try to solve this one by applying this relative velocity principle or translating axis system. Now from the given part, if we take out the diagram, we'll have this layout. And then we know that the distance between the two planes is 6 km, which means 18 minus 12, and then equivalent to 6000 meter. And then we know that at this position there is a plane B and then at this position there is a plane A. We know that this is R and then this one is theta. Theta is given as 30 degree and then velocity of B is given as 1500 km per hour which is equivalent to 1500 divided with 3.6 meter per second and then it will become 417 meter per second then the velocity constant so accelerations of b will become zero and then the velocity is also in this direction and then for the part a we have Velocity of A is equals to 1000 km per hour. Change this one into meter per second. That means you'll divide this one with 3.6 and then finally you'll get 278 meter per second. And then the other one, the acceleration of A is also given as 1.2 meter per second squared. Now the unknown parameters are here to evaluate r double dot and then theta double dot. Now how we can solve this now? From a polar coordinate system, we know that acceleration in the r direction is equals to r double dot minus r times theta dot squared. This implies that r dot will become ar plus r times theta root squared less this one as an equation 1 and then acceleration in the theta direction is equals to r times theta double dot 
plus two times r dot theta dot and then if you rearrange this one we'll get theta double dot so theta double dot will become a theta minus two times r dot theta dot divided with r let's call this one as an equation too now for the translating axis we know that this is in the x direction and this one is in the y direction and then if this is theta and then if this is r we know that this one is velocity b which is 417 meter per second and then this part is velocity of a which is equal to 278 meter per second and the same thing accelerations of a also in this direction so accelerations of a is 1.2 meter per second this is for translating axis and then we know that velocity of b with respect to a is equal to velocity of b minus velocity of a now both velocity of a and velocity of b are in the positive x direction that means in the i direction this one is in the i direction and then this one is also in the i direction so it will become 4 1 7 in the i minus 2 78 and then finally velocity of b with respect to a will become 139 in the i which is in meter per second unit and then for the acceleration part accelerations of b with respect to a will become accelerations of b minus accelerations of a but since the velocity of b is constant there is no any acceleration that means it will become 0 minus accelerations of a is 1.2 this is in the i direction so finally Accelerations of B with respect to A will become minus 1.2 in the I. The unit is meter per second squared. If we want to know about this component test, that means the velocity and the accelerations of B with respect to A for the polar coordinate system, that means we have to take that the fixed axis instead of the translating one, the fixed will be applied here. That means if we take out our axis on aircraft A will have this layout. Now this one will become fixed, and then if it is on A, so we'll have this direction is ER, and then perpendicular to this one will become E theta direction, and then this part will be theta, and then this length will be R. If this is as a fixed axis, that means we may not consider the movements of aircraft A. Instead of that, this velocity component will be the relative velocity and then the relative acceleration. That means velocity of B with respect to A is given here. That means velocity of B with respect to A is 139 meter per second in the positive x direction. And then the accelerations of B with respect to A is minus 1.2. That means it will be in the negative x direction. Once we have this, we can simply apply the polar coordinate system for solving both R double dot and then theta double dot. Now for evaluating that, first of all, we have to know about all the parameters related to the equation 1 and then equation 2 if we want to decompose this velocity that means velocity in that direction is equal to velocity of b with respect to a times cos theta degree if this is theta this angle will be theta 2 this implies that velocity in that direction will be 139 times cos theta is in our 30 degree and then vr will become 120.4 meter per second and then v theta 
is equals to v b with respect to a time sine theta but in which direction if we decompose this one the velocity of b with respect to is near to the negative e theta direction and then it will become negative here that means it will be 139 sine 30 degree it is negative and then it will become negative 69.5 meter per second since we have these parameters we cannot evaluate r dot because r dot is equal to v in the ar direction that means it will become 120.4 meter per second and then for evaluating theta dot we know that v theta is equal to r times theta dot this implies that theta dot is equal to v theta over r but first of all we have to know about r how we could get that if this is r and then this vertical distance is previously calculated and then it was 6000 meter that means r times sine theta is equal to the opposite side which is 6000 which means r is equal to 6000 divided with sine 30 degree and then it will become 12000 meter then theta root will become minus 69.5 divided with 12000 and then it will become minus 0.0058 rad per second now once we have this let us evaluate ar and then a theta we know that ar is equals to minus acceleration of b with respect to a times cos theta from this direction because this is a positive er and then this one will become negative er and then since acceleration of b with respect to is approaching to in the negative er direction it will be decomposed into this way and then and then in the theta direction it will be positive because it's an acute angle or less than 90 degree in the positive e theta direction here so ar will become minus acceleration of b with respect to a times cos theta which is equal to minus 1.2 times cos 30 degree and then it will become minus 1.04 meter per second squared and then acceleration in the theta direction is positive that means acceleration of b with respect to a times sine 30 degree and then it will become 1.2 times sine 30 degree and then it will become 0 0.6 meter per second squared now from equation 1 we know that r double dot is equal to ar plus r times theta dot squared which is equal to minus 1.04 plus 12,000 times minus 0 0.0058 the whole square and then finally once you calculate this you'll get r double dot as minus 0 0.64 meter per second squared this is the answer and then from equation 2 we know that theta double dot is equals to a theta minus 2 times r dot theta dot over r which is equals to 0.6 minus 2 times 120.4 times minus 0 0.0058 divided with 12,000 and then finally theta double dot will become 1.6 nine seven rad per second squared now this is the next answer